one step towards kindness can really spread smiles far and wide hello namaste everyone so today we would be discussing about the theme spreading smiles and how being compassionate and empathetic is very essential human element and it is very essential for the existence of all living beings uh, on the world, on the earth why is compassion and compassion and empathy so important the ability to connect empathetically with others to feel with them to care about their well being to act with compassion is very critical to our lives and it helps us to get along to work more effectively and thrive collectively as a society can we ever imagine how cold it would be to live in a world where nobody cared how you felt or stop listening to you or understand your own thoughts it would be characterized by isolation and feelings of loneliness so empathy and compassion are very essential and admirable qualities to have they definitely make world a warmer place they are part of our everyday life and a very vital means to build a safer and better society for all to live in even in my work as an administrator as a civil servant it is very important to be empathetic and compassionate spreading smiles these two words hold a meaning that many may not understand the world around is brimming with negativities negative elements like unemployment nuclear war natural calamities disasters but definitely we can take small steps from our side and overturn the bad situations and spread smiles on the face of people through our small acts and deeds this could be just feeding stray animals creating shelters during harsh weathers or providing food to the needy i go by the saying amongst all negativity you will always find a beam of light even when people are plagued by problems there is always one door to the happiness even as an is officer as an administrator i have faced many challenges in my journey however i try to ensure that people get their due there is justice and the implementation of government schemes and programs is done in a right way even when we are working against the odds we are always trying to spread these smiles i would definitely like to mention briefly about my own journey i came across civil services in my third year of graduation during my college i belong to a small town called panipat in haryana and at that time i was already doing cs along with my graduation but the feeling of doing something good for the society was backing me for choosing a platform by which i could contribute more towards the people's welfare but when i did a, when i discuss this idea with my parents especially my father lot of nuances apprehensions came into their mind that this is a very tough examination selection is not sure short and then even after selection which service which cadre which rank i would get and then how uh, would i be posted and how will i settle my family life so all these apprehensions came to the mind of my parents but i kept on arguing that the opportunity which the civil services is going to give to me to work and connect with the masses and society is i think unparalleled so after a di- continuous dialogue of few months when my father said okay you go ahead but then he also suggested that i should have a fall back career option a plan b therefore i decided to complete my cs and then in the next year 2004 i enrolled myself in llb from delhi university and i also started my part time job as a company secretary in the same year and i also started my preparation for the civil services lot of struggles lot of phases of low motivation especially when i uh, gave my first attempt but i did not clear the second stage that is mains and i did not get an interview call i was very much demotivated dejected and not clear as to how i should move forward 
In my second attempt with all my energy enthusiasm with the support of my parents and family i appeared for this examination and by god's grace i succeeded with all india rank 13th when i joined the civil service my always attempt has been to be as compassionate to be as empathetic as i can be and it is definitely to spread smiles across the society to the people with whom i am working with to the people for whom we are working so even the small acts of compassion and thoughtfulness go a long way and they definitely can have a long impact on those around you and no matter in whatever position in whatever profile and profession you are you can always choose to contribute to a greater cause and cause a ripple effect of kindness and change i would definitely like to share some of my experiences of field and my attempts towards bringing smiles for which are which have been able to help through the betterment of the society in my first posting as sdm mumbasa in district dhalai a tribal dominated subdivision in tripura in 2010 there were few predominantly tribal dominated village committees wherein there was issue of connectivity so you had to travel few kilometers on foot and then you could reach to those people so when i started touring my subdivision i found that there was lack of proper facilitation or working of the basic facilities like health education anganwadi center phc health sub center etc so we started touring these areas and i took the help of local bsf which was posted there which was stationed there and we tried that at least the basic services like school anganwadi center health sub centers etc are working properly because bsf helped us through providing accommodation to the government officials who were posted there so these were small initiatives but they actually then touched the life of many people who were who were staying in those areas also in my other postings also we have definitely tried to work for the betterment of society i later on worked as dm and collector in gomti district in tripura wherein we took the initiative nandini which was a flagship program under beti bachao beti padhao scheme and we tried to have a collaborative approach which was actually helping the citizens to have a behavioral change and there were collective efforts by all the departments health education uh, wc department panchayat department rural livelihoods department so all the all the departments collaborated and they were we could see the smiles especially on the faces of women young females children who were there in the district i would also like to share the experience of working in faridabad wherein i was posted as a commissioner in 2016 so we started a campaign called citizen participation for city development and we were trying to include the representatives of all stakeholders from the society which included the civil society organizations rws colleges citizens industrial association and due to the citizen inclusive model we could improvise our working under the swachh bharat mission so faridabad also was became the first city from haryana to be selected under the smart cities mission of ministry of rural uh, ministry of urban development government of india moving forward in my another posting as deputy commissioner district jhajar in haryana we took lot of initiatives specifically uh, aimed to promote the welfare of the girl child and women we had the campaign called mahari lado in which district administration also attempted to address the social evils like dowry prohibition uh, female fitty side beti bachao beti padhao program we organized nari ki chopal we organized uh, seminars we organ there was some project called jagriti which was aimed at improving the safety and mobility of women uh, at public places that was in uh, coordination with the unicef india and we also had a campaign called sanjhi madad which i would like to mention this was a people's participation program in which we were asking the people to contribute to our one center sanjhi madad center anything 
any material which they are not using at home but which could help others like clothes books shoes anything which they can donate to others which is which they feel is extra in their houses so this campaign become such a such a successful campaign that we during the sanji madad campaign in 2018 when the kerala floods had come so jhajja district people contributed almost around 1 crore rupees through the check contribution and we were able to remit it to the government of kerala for the disaster management fund besides four truck of materials the material items like clothes books shoes etc etc which were sent uh, to the people of kerala so just imagine that these small acts from district jhajjar in haryana for helping the people of kerala definitely were to an attempt to spread smiles definitely an act of compassion and empathy so our small small initiatives definitely are very important and it is not it is not very or very much required that you set up an industry or become an entrepreneur then only you can uh, help the society your small acts also are very important if you see a dog shuddering around you in cold you can help it with shelter put out food and water for birds you can take injured stray to the vet or we can just have inculcate the habit of feeding the stray animals so regardless of the subject empathy definitely helps people connect with the elements of nature and contributes towards also their inner peace some very brave examples of empathy and compassion can also be seen during covid 19 pandemic we have seen how during covid 19 pandemic people across various states in our country have helped each other people raised sos messages through social media and they have proudly helped the migrant workers these people living in slum areas people have helped the rickshaw pullers the vendors so all these acts of compassion definitely indicate that this human element is the most vital part of our existence i would also like to mention one a real life example i read few months back about miss twinkle and himanshu kaliya so miss twinkle is a cancer survivor and she is india's first woman ambulance driver she herself had developed a cancer developed cancer but after treatment she recovered from her health and started free ambulance service in delhi and after this free ambulance service in delhi she has helped lot of people through her this ambulance service and then we can imagine that the spreading of smiles coming from the smallest efforts and reaching out to the community with empathy and compassion are so vital and they have till now impacted and helped so many people living uh, in in across their areas now what youth can do how can you help my dear friends government definitely has many programs in which you can help and it is youth's potential to help others we have skill india mission we have beti bachao beti padhao program we have digital india mission we have fit india mission we have jal shakti abhiyan educate daughter crime against women working for environment conservation save earth so definitely we need to recognize our own potential and support each other and recognize the inherent dignity in oneself and all human beings through the acceptance of identities different from one's own now how can we actually spread smiles what we can do first and foremost is work without expecting anything in return i know it is not easy to work without expecting anything in return but giving should not come with the prior conditions of demands with an hidden agenda if you give without any expectation it definitely gives you inner peace in a motivation and much more happiness than you would ever imagine be kind being kind is very important a moment in support of time of a need a quiet word of encouragement a helping hand to carry a heavy load or just a smile it is very important it can be really soothing to anybody who is in distress 
we should also learn to raise your voice against injustice give back to the world and your community especially in terms of the crisis take the effort to educate yourself inform yourself about the current issues and how you can help try and explore so talk about these issues with your own self and also raise your voice against the injustice definitely you need to be a good listener so becoming a good listener is also very important unless and until you listen you will not be able to help the people in their solutions and problems and definitely one very important thing is that pass on your knowledge and skills so sharing knowledge and becoming an inspiration becoming a motivation is also very important and you can definitely spread smiles you can definitely encourage others encourage the people around you so work without expecting anything in return be kind learn to raise your voice against injustice be a good listener and pass on your knowledge and skills all this definitely indicates that there is a basic human instinct to be kind so i would just like to conclude that empathy and compassion are very important and this is the requirement of the ideal world which we all aspire for and the connections made through compassion and kindness last forever i in beginning i had mentioned by a quote one step towards kindness can spread smiles far and wide one step towards kindness can spread far smiles far and wide so let us all keep spreading smiles may you all stay happy stay healthy thank you so much namaskar jai hind